All right, girlfriend flirting. Girlfriend flirting. Hello, Red Billy Boy. I have a question for the podcast. Um, I met a great girl six months ago. Six months ago, she's a real lady, and she prides herself on being honest and loyal. That's a red flag. Anybody who says I pride myself on being honest and loyal, I just feel like they're already. It's like Roger Clemens when he used to always do the workout videos. You know, for the local TV. Look how hard he works out. And you find out he's, you know, doing roids. Here's another one I noticed. I watched a lot of reality TV with my wife, and she watches The Apprentice, Donald Trump. This is what I learned. Anybody who uses that expression, uh, lead follower, get out of the way, right? They're, they're always a moron, and they're always... It's they're basically saying like fuck it, I want you to do everything my way. That's such a moron expression. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. I don't know who came up with that, but it was instantly on t shirts. And I never saw anybody remotely intelligent with the t shirt that said lead, follow, or get out of the way. It's just that classic like I don't know. I know how to do shit. Lead, follow, get out of the way. Fucking Ian Zaring was saying that. This is how pathetic my life was. I was watching Ian Zaring on... Uh, what was my dog, by the way? Ian Zaring on fucking The Apprentice. And he had to come... They, his team had to come up with a jingle for some sort of new fucking Budweiser that they wanted to promote uh, down in the Caribbean. So he decides he's going to come up with a jingle. It's between him and Johnny Damon. So you know the song's going to be good, right? And he comes up with like, uh, you know, drink fucking Budweiser, ba ba boo do da ba di ba da ba do He just, it's La Cucaracha. And they're looking at him. And he like he's like, I got to get away from you guys because you're singing other stuff. I need to go over here and create. And he comes back with new lyrics for La Cucaracha, Right? He fucking he, he he fucking vanilla iced it, and then they're like, "Dude, that's La Cucaracha. We can't use that." And he got all fucking pissy. So we got to use something else or whatever. And he just kept saying, "Lead, follow, or get a, or get out of the way." So the, the 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 project manager finally looks at him. She goes, "I am leading." And he goes, well, you got to delegate. She goes, I am delegating. I need you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it was great. And he got all mad. He got mad. And then what time for them to present it to Donald Trump? He half-assed it. He didn't sing along. He was a big fucking baby. How can you be 50 years old to be that big of a fucking baby? It just was unreal. You get a pout? Who the fuck pouts at 50? I didn't get my way. What, what did they take your fucking pail and shovel? Gives a fuck. Let somebody else write the song, and if it sucks, they're going to get fired. Put your heart and soul into it, and he didn't. And you know what? He got himself fucking booted right back to Beverly Hills. That poor bastard. You know what? If he was 10 years younger, he would have got the good hair plugs. You know? He would have. He got those late 90 ones. Oh, I'll tell you, it was a little rough one, you know? Um... What am I doing here? Uh, I met a girl six months ago. All right. Here we go. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. Right? All right. Now, a few weeks ago, she said that she doesn't even flirt, which seems seemed very odd. Yeah, yeah. She's already like, she's, all right, let me just recap this. She's a real lady, and she prides herself on being honest and loyal. A few weeks ago, she said she doesn't even flirt which seemed very odd. A few days later, I heard her giggling and being very flirty with this guy she studies with. I confronted her about this, and she said this is how she always talks to him, and I'm overreacting. I let it go since I always sometimes flirt with other girls when she's not around. This week, she's going on vacation with her colleagues. This guy is also going. Oh, the same guy. Oh, Jesus. I brought up the vacation subject and mentioned that in trips uh, that I have been, as a single guy, there was a lot of sex and partying. Uh, she says that 
They don't do that and tries to change the subject. Let me guess. Is she going to hedonism down on the island there, wherever the fuck that goes down? Uh, she says, I don't think that she is cheating, but I feel that she is hiding something. She also doesn't seem very attracted to me lately, even though she says so. What's your take on this one? What do you think about flirting? Uh, thanks and go fuck yourself. Um, I think you're with a lying sack of shit who's a sociopath and they're saying all the right fucking things. Um, and it's also somebody that is, hasn't found who they want to be with and they're afraid to be alone. So they just get with people. And when the initial attraction wears off, they rather than break up, they just keep fucking lying and, I never knowingly intentionally lied. I think you have to listen to your gut here. I think she's I think this is the tip of the iceberg. This is only 6 months in. She's going on a fucking vacation with other colleagues. Dude, 6 months in if this chick was into you, she'd want to go on vacation with you. She wants to go on vacation with this fucking creep she caught her flirting with after she said she doesn't flirt when you didn't even give her shit about flirting. She went out of her way to say she doesn't flirt. Give me a fucking break. Hey, I'm a really honest and loyal person. Oh, by the way, I don't do heroin. Why, why, why did you just bring that up? Oh, you know, I'm just, just putting it out there. I don't believe in it. See, so, you know, all the spoons are bent. Um, that's just my gut. The way you presented it, too, by the way. You might have left some stuff out, but the way you presented it, I think she's, I think she's a fucking liar. Um, all right, P.S., thank you for sharing your honest insight, you funny bastard. I love the advice on life and women. I also don't trust banks. Oh, that's nice. All right. Well, I don't trust your girlfriend. How about that? What do you say? There? What do you say there? Huh? What do you say there? Um, you know what's funny about that? And if she actually did cheat and you confronted her about it on one of these fucking TV shows that they would actually still, they would still somehow blame the guy. You know what I mean? I love that shit. Like how, they actually, there's, there's an article somewhere on the internet. I saw it, you know, those things that they try to just get you to, to click on it. And it always works for me. You know, the top 10 bad celebrity nose jobs, the top 10 fucking gangster movies of all time, blah, 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 blah. They had the top 10 reasons women cheat. Right. So I looked it up and eight of the reasons were the guy's fault. It's the funniest fucking shit ever. Oh, another movie I saw a little bit of. Remember that movie Monster with Charlize Theron? Um, <coughs> that that movie is one of the most sexist fucking movies of all fucking time, but it'll never be called on it because it's it's going in the other direction. The fact that that is a movie about a serial killer is it's... Like, when you look at movies about serial killers, like the Jeffrey Dahmer one, the Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer... They are, they are fucking, they are monsters, right? This fucking movie, despite the fact it was called Monster, it was a goddamn love story. And they justified so much of her killing to the point when she finally gets busted. It's this big emotional moment of when her, her lover is, is going to betray her and rat her out on the stands. And is her, you know, Charlize's character is sitting there crying She's saying with her eyes, like, it's okay, baby. I understand. Do you know how fucking infuriated I would be if I was a, re a relative, one of the actual victims of that absolute fucking lunatic serial killer? They almost made her a fucking hero. I mean, I was waiting for this Sally Field moment where she just stands up and holds uh, Union now, was, you know, for other fucking female serial killers. It was ridiculous. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting very extra jaded as I get older. And I, I, I'm giving a fuck less about people's complaints because I'm finding they never complain for other people. They're always bitching for themselves, right? Like take the Oscars. Women got up there, right? And they complained that they don't get paid enough and blah, 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 blah. Now, why are they complaining? Are they complaining because it's unfair? Or are they complaining because it's unfair and it's happening to them? You know what I mean? 
which is the reason why guys aren't complaining about it because they don't give a fuck about it because it's not happening to them. But that doesn't make women better people because women don't give a fuck about the shit that's happening to guys. Have you ever seen a woman out there that gives a fuck that there's yet another fucking man standing in a bay window looking out, seeing a FedEx or a UPS truck pulling up as he's just sitting there having a mini heart attack, thinking in his head, Jesus Christ, what the fuck did she buy now? She's spending all my fucking money. What the fuck could she have possibly bought now? She's spending it faster than I can make it. You know, what about that financial dynamic? Do they ever bring that up? Have you ever seen a woman stick up for a guy in that fucking situation? Why would they? They don't have time. They have their own fucking problems. So that's how I view it. Oh, is that what's happening to you? Oh, that sucks for you. Um, <laughs> I don't really feel that, but it's just... It's just fun to annoy people sometimes. Um, all right, let's plow ahead here. <clears throat> 